welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So today's video is going to be my November 2020 bullet journal setup. I know it's a little late guys, I'm so sorry, but I actually did start filming this even before Amanda Rachel posted hers, but because I was so busy last week with cheer, school, and my brother had some games and stuff, like I just couldn't film it all in one day. So I'm sorry that it's like literally November 1st when this is coming out. I hope, um, so yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, this month I actually decided to go with an Among Us theme. All of these supplies that I use will be listed down in the description box below. So if you're interested in that, just click the description box and you'll see the list. And before we start, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post any more bullet journal videos because I post bullet journal plan with me's every month so stay tuned to make sure that you don't miss any. I think that this setup turned out super cute so without any further ado let's get on with the video. So guys like I said I went with an Among Us theme and I had like a really good idea planned for this so basically I just drew a huge Among Us character that took up like the whole page and I decided that in the little face area I was gonna write November I just thought that was a really good idea for some reason so basically I did the shading and everything and then I did a little party hat because I thought that would be really cute because I like wearing the little party hat in the game but yeah i added more shading and then i decided to do another font which was just the black bubble letters with the white gel pen on top of it to have like little stars and stuff because among us is like has to do with the space and stuff so i just thought that'd be really cute and went really good with the theme and then the little other little things that I added were little stars and dots. And then Amanda Rachel Lee actually did like a little dots and squiggly lines. So I added that to mine. And as you can see right here, I'm literally watching Amanda's video. And by the way, her intro is like so cute. But anyways, then I moved on to the quote page. And basically I did the Bible verse where it says, he counts the stars and calls them by name. I felt like it fit the theme perfectly because it was about stars and space. And I don't know, I just thought it went really good with the theme. So once again, I did the same font that I did November in. And I call that kind of like a comforter font because that's what it's called on Google. And then I used some cursive and then I used that same black and white um, bubble letter thing and I thought it looked super cute so yeah I think this page turned out really cute and then as you can see off camera I added a few details like I underlined two of the words and then wrote like where the bible verse is found and then I also shaded the big among us character then I added more little among us characters to the quote page I thought this quote page turned out so cute because I drew all the little Among Us characters and I drew some little dead bodies. <laughs> that probably sounds like so weird. Like I drew some dead bodies. I don't know, that probably sounds really weird. But anyways, then I finished off the spread by adding more little stars and dots and squiggly lines and everything. And I feel like this page turned out super cute. So that's it for the cover page. The next page that I did was of course my calendar page. I always do the second, but I actually decided to do the pretty much exact same layout that Amanda did because I thought it was such a great idea, especially for the things that I need to have in my calendar spread and everything. So I basically did that Dutch door calendar spread. So I made the calendar boxes way smaller than I normally have them. And I love how they turned out because it really looks like a handwritten style and stuff. I don't know. I just really like the way they turned out. And as you can see on the Dutch door, I added a little swipe of color. And for the numbers of each day, I did a little circle with all the different colors and then put the days of the week. And then on the Dutch door side, I put goals, assignments, YouTube videos, and fun activities. So basically, the fun activities section is just a section for me to write down any fun things that I do during that month. So yeah, and then I finished the spread off with some doodles, and yeah, that was pretty much it. The 
The next page that I did was my trackers and so the first tracker that I did was my habit tracker. So basically I took all the different colors and swatched them for where I'm going to write each individual habit and then I drew the little mini calendar so I can write down all the days and you know fill out my tracker like I normally would. I actually decided to go with my normal habit tracker this month because I know Amanda did this cute thing that went really good with the theme but I just didn't really know how to convert that into how I needed to use my habit tracker so that's why I did it my normal way. And for this spread, I felt like if I did Among Us doodles, that might be make the page a little bit too busy. So basically, I just did little stars and dots and squiggly lines and then finished the spread off with some shadows. Now moving on to my mood tracker. So for my mood tracker, I basically, the once again, did the same thing as Amanda. So I drew about a ton of little among us doodles like dead bodies and different characters some of them had hats and i thought it was super cute so yeah i basically made sure i had enough room to do i think i did six rows of five characters and so yeah once i drew all of them i just wrote mood tracker in the same heading that i did the habit tracker and yeah that spread was pretty much done i think it turned out super cute And finally, I did my brain dump page, and since this month I did my YouTube videos section on the calendar page, I decided to do a two-page brain dump, and I'm actually glad that I did because sometimes I have to just write down random assignments that I have to do in my brain dump page, and so a two-page brain dump is definitely necessary so basically all I did was do a colored strip around the page a little among us doodle in the corner and then write that brain dump in the same black and white bubble font I think this setup turned out super cute I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the theme if you guys want to see more plan with me's from me subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post them and I also have a playlist full of my bullet journal videos if you want to see them but yeah, I think that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.